hello everyone so today I'm going to work on aligning the reticle and the gun when I look up and down so now as you can see uh, no matter the direction I'm looking at the gun is uh, pointed towards the reticle and also uh, I'm crouching when I'm crouching also you can see the character it was not there before when I'm crouching because if I'm in this mode if I crouch my character was off the camera so I fixed it or uh, that problem also today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right so last time we worked on aligning the gun when I turn in horizontal line but now we are we have to fix this one when I look up and down you can see the gun is not exactly aligning with the reticle so that's the part we are going to do today all right right so this is the aiming part and this is where we calculate the required offsets of the angles to modify the spine uh, you should be familiar with this if you have followed up to this point so right let's start it here so here I have added to debug outs to see what are the values uh, of uh, the aiming rotation x that means roll and aiming rotation yo so here yeah let's check those values and it's first one is roll so it's getting closer it's 10 here and when I'm horizontal it's 90 and goes from 90 and after that it becomes minus so all right what's going on here ah uh -huh. Right, so actually I multiply that oh, here with minus 1. Okay, so shall we directly print this part? Now, if I do that, I think it would make more sense. Right, now it's 0 and going to 90 and if I move down from here it goes to moves from 360 to 270 all right so is that the same in this direction as well yeah okay so In order to fix this, when my roll has some value, I may have to add some offset. I need, first I need to build a relationship between this roll and yo. So when I'm here, if I rotate my character a little to the right, then this gun would align and when I am here also I should do that okay so right here I don't need that all right so how to build that relationship right we can do this here I'll get the modulus 90 and 
percent. Right now, let's see what we get. So here I get 90, no closer to 90, and as I oh, oh that's not useful. All right, so let's first fix this only for the moving up part. That means I know, yeah, I know when I, yeah, I disabled, uh, yeah, I disconnected this part and directly connected this here. Now we, let's only focus on moving up from this point to here. And let's fix the alignment only for that section. Then after that, let's look into this part. All right. So now as I move up, I need to add an offset to the right side. I need to rotate the character to the right. So Okay, so the your offset is minus 30 here and uh, yeah, let's get some room. Let's add another pin here and with this pitch value, I'll multiply this by what? Let's say 0.5. I'm not sure. And see. Hey, what's happening there? All right, that happens when I'm here. Okay, that's all right. Okay, when I move up, now the horizontal moment is kind of okay, but still, gun is not pointing correctly. But if I don't have this red line, that would be okay. Okay, so for the moving down part, that means when this uh, pitch changes from yeah, 360 to 270, that means If this one is larger than 270, yeah, then I need to do a select here. Using this as a, if it is false, it should go here. If it is true, I should get this value mm. subtract yeah. uh, I need to subtract this value from 360 
and yeah it should be here all right uh, and the output of that should be multiplied by this value and add here right now let's see okay now you can see there is some alignment with the gun and I look down but the character's pose is not good his head comes on my way so I can't see the gun But for now, the alignment problem is roughly fixed as you can see. And I really need to add some blocks. I like I should not allow this character to completely look up or down. I need to limit that. So where should I do that? Max. Yo. I think those options should be yeah here I can set them set max yo where should I? yeah uh, we can do that here when I enable aiming uh, right here I'll get camera manager and here I'll set H max to what should be the value maybe 70 and set pitch min value to I'm not sure how this how to define this value maybe let's try minus 70 um, let's see if it's working right now this does not go beyond 90 This doesn't go beyond 70 and not going below 290 so I think that's working if I limit it like this it would be good right right uh, and I need to reset this yeah, when I'm in the full third person mode I think I should increase these limits so instead of 70 I'll put 80 and minus 80 here I'll reduce this one further 60 to minus 60 I got some error, right? Okay. Fixed. Okay. Right, right. Now I can't look further down than this. And can't look further up than this. Okay, now I'll uh, disable that red line. So I won't see the notice the change. And also, when I crawl, my spring arm is not attached to any of the sockets. Therefore, let me show you. Right. 
now you can see the gun is pointing towards the reticle in fairly well no matter the direction I am looking at right so when I crouch you can see I can't see the character that's because I haven't attached this spring arm to any of the characters bones so therefore I'll go ahead and attach this to neck oh. and the other one also I'll attach it to the neck Now when I crouch, you can see my character don't hide. So now this is aiming while crouching. Now this is aiming while standing. It's okay for both cases. See? Alright, so I'll stop this episode at this point and in the next point in the next episode let's start get started with the shooting shooting mechanics okay and thanks for watching if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye